going back to our key principles here. I'm staying behind the elbows, my knees wedged in, I can't let his elbow out. Now uh, Pat and I were talking about uh, what this guy can do as well, and what a lot of guys do. Guys get frustrated here. He's going to start dropping this knee over top of my leg. See this? Alright, you know this might be troublesome for some people. If he's stuck like this, I might start scrambling a little bit or, you know, feeling like I, I might be compromised in this position. So instead, I'm going to stay behind the elbow. I come here. Now, I'm going to mule kick that leg that's stuck in between his legs. I'm going to mule kick it, pull him forward. I'm going to stretch him out. I'm going to roll him over top of me. I'm going to head and arm triangle it. Alright? So I come here. I flatten him out. Roll him over. As soon as I get here, I'm either gift wrapping here and punching through. Alright? Going for my head and arm triangle. You can hear put pressure on the inside hip here. Pull it all the way through. Do the one arm one like Pat does. Whatever you like, guys. But again, my head goes low, and I get the tap quick. Once again, if I'm a good side ride right here. All right, he steps over, he's getting desperate as he does. I don't want to push this big childbearing hips into me too much further, so I need to act right away. I stay behind the elbows here, so I'm ready to go. I lock up, I spread him out, I roll him over me. All right. If he starts going really hard, I will grab this right here to gift wrap, slow him down a little bit, start working this through. Punch through, punch through, punch through. My head goes low to the ground. I like to put my hips as low as possible on the ground as I finish. And get the tap. Now, behind the head, there's a couple of schools of thought here. Some people like to grab, all right, right past the fist here, and choke right there. I still grab opposing thumbs grip and pull this through. Get the tap. Again, your grip can vary from here, almost like a Marcello grip, opposing thumbs grip, and if you're comfortable, like a lot of the wrestlers are, the gable grip to pull it through. The biggest thing is I want to make sure that I punch this arm through as far as possible. My head gets to the ground so he can't get his elbow out, and my hips get as low as possible, almost hovering on the ground. Alright? Anybody want to see it again? You guys good? You want to see it again? I don't want to see it again. Once again, side ride, he steps over, as he does. My leg is not laced, it can be, but it's not. I come here, I pop him forward, I roll him over. As I do, I'll grab the gift wrap, punch this arm through, head comes down, my hips come low and I get the tap. Any questions? I'm just gonna take a few times, but try it out, guys. One, two, three.